All right, welcome to April 14th, 2018 in Connecticut. It's 70 degrees, I can't ask for much better. I'm back at the Foggy Field. This is a site that we had a great group hunt at a couple years ago, and it's a spot that I come back to every year. I haven't done as good as I did since that first hunt, but uh, let's see what we do today. Alrighty, my first tone of the day, just uh, about five minutes after the intro. It's uh, hopping around between 45 and 35. It's a little obnoxious. I hope it's a button. Could be shotgun shell, maybe. Let's go get it. Well, my hopes were right. Can you see it? It came right out with the bottom of the plug. I see a little shankage there. That's a nice big dandy button. Beautiful. I hope. It's pretty thin. I hope there's going to be something on it. Let's uh, stop. Let me dig out my brush, dry it out a little bit because it's awful wet in the field today, and see if it's got anything on it. You know, I got a lot of sun in my face today. Hard to tell, but there is a little sunburst pattern radiating out from the center. You can kind of see it up there. This field might have been fertilized at one time, which is really not good for relics. So, goody goody, we're on board with something. We'll clean this up a little better when we get home. Hopefully it'll uh, it'll show a little more detail. You can see it wanting to clean up around the edges, but it's, it's pretty wet. Let's keep digging. Alright, just behind me, just got that nice large dandy button, and Two minutes later, I got a much better sounding tone, and this is right about the spot where my counterfeit uh, Connecticut copper came from. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers, and I like the depth this is at. So here we go. I'm not going to swing all the way around, but this is this is a little bit higher. These are mid-60s. I'm getting even up to 70. It goes down to about 50 in, in the other direction, but I like the depth. Yeah, those are numbers I want to see for sure. All right, let's dig this one up. And we're down to it. I got a little edge of something in the hole. I don't think it's a coin though. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mystery. I don't know what that is. Part of a tag? Ugh, it's a bazinga is what it is. Ah, well, I'll check the hole, but let's get back to digging. I don't have any real pattern for detecting this place when I come back to it. It's so random that that's pretty much what I do. I'll, I'll walk zigzag up and down the hill. Maybe I'll walk a straight line. So I'm not gridding the place out. If I were closer, you know, I'm about 40 minutes from the spot. It was a place I hit more often, you know, made it my 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 haunt, then I would grid it out and start doing other stuff, but I'm not, so here's my random stuff that I'm you know I'm just not showing because the tones just are they aren't there and I'm not convinced it's anything good, but hey, look at that beefy boy right there. That was deep. Saved you from a lot of digging for that. That's a little little tiny thing, but oh my god, that's thick. So nothing fascinating. Um I'm still digging. It's a beautiful day. Let's uh, let's keep going. Ooh wee! My pale skin's getting a little cooked out here. Uh, it's only been two hours, but that's probably more sun than I should have for the first hunt of the year. Um, but two hours in, I got a good tone, and I am right at where the home site would have been at this uh, property. Let's uh, let's turn around and take a look. It's real tough to see, but. Just right in here, this little depression. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of where that little darker green is. 
that's where the home site stood originally and they filled it back in it would have been a colonial home site um, everybody's been by this spot and uh, I got a nice tone let's uh, take a look at the 80s tone I have all right let's have a look at this That is gorgeous. I hope it's not just a, a penny. I'd really like to get a colonial copper here. Large scent. Anything. Let's go after it. And survey says eh, that was deep, over a foot deep. No bueno. So what I think I'm going to do here, since I've dug here in the past and I've never gotten enough finds in one hunt out of here since the foggy field to make an entire video. I'm gonna go digging through my clips. Let's take a look at those now of what I've dug here in the past, and then let's get on with the hunt. Well, by my count, it has been three hours and uh, 20 minutes since the intro of this video, and I am finally on the board with my first dig of the day that wasn't complete garbage and trash. Let's have a look. And there's where I've been for the past three hours, is way up on that hill in that uh, upper field there, and I got a lot of beer trash for it. So I came all the way back down and there I am literally 20 feet from the Jeep. Very low 18 to 22 VDI. But that's my first dig of the day, a Tomback. Very thin, very worn one. Might be out here another hour or two. I think this is going to be the shortest video I've ever made. Well, I shouldn't have wasted my time up the top of that hill. Uh, maybe 15 feet away from that tomback. Uh, I got something that people find and they never find anything in them. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, that's the remnants of a coin purse. It was a very low 18 VDI, so I know there's no silver in there. Obviously, we'll still hit the hole again, but... Just a little bit of junk. Yeah, somebody should have dug this up on the last trip here. Alrighty, while we were looking at that, the evil one has made its first appearance of the year. Evil. Still kind of working a little tight around this, uh, what's left of the, uh, the cellar hole that got filled in, and uh, I got a little reward hiding under some nails. Let's take a look. I wasn't convinced I had anything because I kept pulling nails out. I just thought they were sharp edged nails, but that's a, uh, it's a scutching plate. I think it's got something on it. These usually have those little circular stamping designs. Very thin though. Thinner than I'm used to seeing, but cool. I will try and clean that up. If it's got any super schmancy on it, obviously I'll put an image off to the side here. Let's uh, see if we can get some other goodies here before I roast. I gotta call it quits here soon. I'm burning. Alrighty then, I'm gonna pull the plug on this one. I've been out here for a few hours in direct sunlight. I'm getting cooked. I don't want to get sunburnt. <laughs> First hunt out too badly. Um, not my best day, not my worst day. I got some fines. This field always coughs up something every time I come here. So thanks for watching this one, and I will be back in a little while with something new. We'll see you.